Yo, what's good beautiful people it's hunt today we're going to be talking about dribble pull-ups i got a whole list of dribble pull-ups that are good for every single build so that's what we're going to be talking about on top of that i'm going to give y'all my jump shot that i use for both my builds and yeah that's pretty much it so make sure y'all do drop a like sub turn on post notifications it's all very much appreciated we're not gonna waste no time we're just gonna get straight into it all right so first things first i'm gonna pop up the list of dribble pull-ups on the screen these are what i feel like are the best dribble pull-ups in the game when it comes to just a list of good ones because i know a lot of people have a lot of different personal preferences and me just telling you mine isn't gonna help taller builds it's not gonna help different you guys get what i'm saying so these best dribble pull-ups i'm gonna break it down trey burke is the one i use i meant to put on trey young one day and accidentally bought trey burke and when i was using it i was going crazy so i never took this off i personally feel like this is super easy to time when you're one going to the opposite ball hand and two when you're going straight for that ball hand i feel like it's really easy to time whether you're going to the left or to the right no matter what fade animation you get. I've got a couple fade animations that weren't even like actual fades. They were like the weird fades. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I've greened plenty of them with Trey Burke. So this one is my personal favorite. Now for people that don't have small guards, can't get Trey Burke or whatever the case may be. Michael Jordan and Normal 2 are the best all around ones. Now Michael Jordan and Normal 2, the reason why I say these are the best all around is because you could get both of these on just about any build. So these two, if you're somebody who's got a tall build, these are the two you're gonna wanna be looking at is Michael Jordan and Normal 2, trying both of those out, seeing which one you like. Me personally, I like Trey Burke. Now the last two on this list, Trey Young and Steph Curry. Trey Young, he has an amazing fade. I used his in 22, and he's always had a really good, easy to time fade. So that one is one of the ones that most small guards use. 90% of all small guards you see are gonna be having Trey Young on. Steph Curry, I feel like Steph Curry kinda took its like fall this year. Last year, everybody mainly ran Steph Curry, then other people ran Trey Young. Those were like the two populars. But this year, I feel like there's not that many people that I really see running a Steph Curry fade. This fade is amazing. I did use it in the beginning of the year, so it's still on the list because Steph Curry does have a tough fade. But it seems like this year, people are trying to test out new things. They're not really rocking with the same old, same old. So I don't know. That's just what I've seen and what I've seen from different people. Not a lot of people have Steph Curry on, but this is the list of what I feel like are the best dribble pull-ups in the game. Small guards try either trey burke or trey young see which one you like if you don't like either of them just rock with the curry tall builds try out that normal two try out that michael jordan i personally use normal two on my six seven i don't really like michael jordan but it's all up to y'all whatever one you would end up liking better and which one helps you play better now the last thing i want to talk about before we <laughs> who before we go before we go ahead and wrap up this video is my jump shot and then my release timing because i do always get asked that no matter what jump shot video or shooting video i post people always ask for the release timing so when i my release timing i use late that's personally what i feel like is good for me now release timing doesn't affect your actual jump shot speed only your release like you getting to the green window it only makes you getting to the green window quicker it doesn't actually change the jump shot it doesn't change the speed of the jump shot it just changes your green cue so that's all that it changes if y'all want more details on that check out my recent video i did a full breakdown on it but i just use late i feel like that's the most authentic one to use true to the form you know what i'm saying where you flick the wrist it's all easy visual cue I like using late. Now the last thing that we're gonna talk about in this video, I'm gonna give y'all my two jump shots because I have a 6-1 and a 6-7. I made both of them just so I could give y'all tall guard sigs, tall guard jump shots, and small guard sigs and small guard jump shots. You get what I'm saying? So for my 6-1, the jump shot I use is on the screen. All A round, perfect jump shot. I just love using this jump shot. I haven't changed it since I've unlocked it. And personally, I feel like this is just a really good jumper. Now the second one that we got on the list is my 6-7 jumper with the Kyle Kuzma base. I love this jump shot too. Kyle Kuzma base is fire this year. I'm not going to lie to you. I personally love Kyle Kuzma base. So I'm, I'm chicken with this build. And it's only got an 85 three-pointer. I could pull it from half court. Anywhere on the court, I could pull it from for real. So 
these are the two jump shots that i use i hope today's video helped y'all out or you know what i'm saying if y'all have any questions just let me know in the comment section i do got badge videos that break down playmaking defense finishing what's the last category and shooting i have four videos that have full breakdowns on the best badges for each category telling y'all explanations behind them giving y'all tier rankings and everything like that so just check out my videos if you want to know about badges and yeah that's it for today hope y'all enjoyed it your boy hunt is out i love y'all